Would you agree with Thomas Jefferson that the strongest reason for the people to retain the right to keep and bear arms is as a last resort to protect themselves from tyranny and government? Um, I don't know that that's highly relevant today, but, but certainly uh, that's, a, that's a legal reason for being able to keep a firearm, and I believe that people ought to be able to have a firearm to protect themselves, I believe, in the Second Amendment. In that case, why did you vote in favor of the Brady Bill and the assault weapons ban? I didn't actually vote. Well, I beg your pardon, why did you yeah. support that? Yeah. Well, you have come out publicly saying that you supported the assault weapons ban and the Brady Bill. Yeah, uh, and, and will you give the microphone back to the guy? How many more questions have you got? Okay. 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 Yeah, my final question is, I just if you don't understand the intent of the Constitution, me, how can you be trusted to defend it? And who, can, who, will, who will defend it from you? Okay, thank you. Let me answer the question. And that is that uh, uh, with regards to the assault weapon ban in Massachusetts, that we had come forward, which is an extension of the assault weapon ban, the Gun Owners Action League and pro-gun lobbyists came together to say, oh, we want you to sign this because we have as part of this bill a number of uh, relaxation features with regards to registration and certification for gun owners in Massachusetts. So the pro-gun lobby came together with the anti-gun lobby and fashioned a bill which both sides encouraged me to sign. I did sign. And by the way, at the signing ceremony, the head of the Gun Owners Action League was there encouraging that same bill.